What's going on guys? Jane Rengen back at it again. Merhaba, if you're new to our channel, welcome. Oh, hoş geldiniz. <laughs> and in today's video, we're going to be talking about my experiences and my first thoughts on Turkey, its culture, and what just what a beautiful country it is. Before I met Rengen, my idea of Turkish food was pretty much just stoner kebabs. But Rengen has opened my eyes and now we are introduced to uh, mixed grills. I've taught him the way. So the mixed grills consist of like a massive platter, you know? It was like pyramid shape and it's like got a big mountain of food. Yeah. If you're a meat lover, it's perfect. So food. it's got other now, it's got chicken shish, lamb shish, everything, all the donut, chicken and um, lamb donut. So it's like everything on top of it. Um, I'm getting and, hungry just thinking about it. <laughs> and another thing that you actually like is salad. Like you don't eat a lot of salad, but it's the mm. Isma Salatasa, so it's the one that's cut really finely. Very finely, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I've realized that you actually get all of that every single time we go. Yeah, so something that we like to do is we get lamajan, which is like a very thin pizza. And that's the best way we can describe, describe it. Describe it, yeah. Um, and we put the salad with es Esme. Esme. Esme salad. Yeah. <laughs> on it, wrap it up. It's just the perfect starter before the, the big feast comes. Now, recently we went to Germany, Berlin, mm -hmm. and we were very surprised at the amount of Turkish people there. No, you were surprised. I know you that. You knew? Yeah, okay, I know I, that I Turkey. Didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, there's loads of Turkish people in um, uh, Germany. But um, we were just exploring the sea and we just started seeing Turkish flags everywhere and it was like, where are we? I thought we was in Germany. Mate, even my auntie lives in Germany, so... <laughs> so yeah, um, we went into this uh, this kebab place mm. and... Um, Which we had actually found on TripAdvisor. Found on TripAdvisor, mm -hmm. went in and their specialty thing was, it was a doner kebab, but instead of like the like a normal, normal wrap, Bread they, wrap, yeah. yeah. Instead of the normal bread wrap, they wrapped the doner meat in a lamajan. <laughs> we were like, what the... Yeah, it was like a... I don't know. Because even for me, it's the first time I had seen that in my life. Like a llama joint, and then they put lamb donut inside it and wrapped it up like it's a durum. I was like, so what is this? When we're trying to do make our own little wrap, people are staring at us like, are these yeah. guys all right? <laughs> but yeah, it's very like nice. The meat, if so. you haven't tried it, definitely try it out. Yeah, definitely recommend that. Now something I was really surprised by is Turkish stews. Now last time I was in Bodrum in Turkey, um, Rengen introduced me to these Turkish stews. Now, what were they? Um, so it's a place in Bodrum that specialised only in homemade stews. And there was um, uh, et sauté, so like chicken um, and like lamb sauté. And there's also like sarma, dolma. So we ordered quite like, a lot. There was like, we, how many plates were there? There was quite a few plates. And when we were actually ordering, the guy was kind of like, oh, you're still going, are you? Yeah. Kind of like still writing. But um, it was really, really nice for like you yeah. to actually try like homemade foods. Because we always go out for kebab. I, I eat so. a lot, so I, fi I finished a lot. So that was fun. Yeah, it was really nice. Now, something I wasn't expecting when I went to Turkey is how much Turks really love their country. They are very patriotic. Um, now, when we got there, there were flags everywhere there were big flags little flags there were flags on outside restaurants shops motorways everywhere the playgrounds <laughs> <laughs> they were everywhere so that was that was very surprising so it's very nice i think it comes as a like it's so normal to me because when i go there it's just like i'm overwhelmed i'm happy to be home to my homeland kind of thing yeah. so like i feel like ah, like it, there was there was yeah. red everywhere and it was very nice to see that uh, full of, of people really do love their country so that was a nice touch let's talk about the language now the language is very difficult to learn for me despite ringing saying how easy it is yeah, I, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit um, but Ringan and our family are very encouraging. They always yeah. try to get me to speak more Turkish and they always teach me a few words here and Even there. my mom, like whenever she asks me, she's like, um, Dama Adam Nassel, you know, referring to Jay as Dama. Or when she messages or talks to Jay, it was always like Dama Nassel son or Dama yeah. this. So it's quite funny. She tells me to call her Anna. 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 Yeah. Anna. <laughs> So, that's funny. Yeah. Now the reason I think Turkish is such a difficult language for me to speak because that is completely backwards to English. So for example, if I want to say I am learning Turkish, um, that is Turkçe öğreniyorum. Yeah, that's correct. Which literally <laughs> translates to Turkish learning I am. Well, if you put a language like that, yeah, it doesn't make sense when you do it word to word. So, but yeah, it's, you're it's, you're not doing too bad. You're quite well at it. Yeah. So. so I'm just have to get my head around that and then. Uh, yeah, go from there. The Turkish language is something called a agglutinative language. <laughs> what does that mean? Which basically means where you add suffixes or endings to the end of a word. So you can basically say an entire Turkish sentence in one word. So for example, <laughs> if, yeah, so you know what I'm talking about. So if you want to say like, we are going to the supermarket, that's like, supermarket is? Yeah. So supermarket is one 
Turkish word, but that's a whole sentence, isn't it? Yeah. So it's not a whole it. sentence, you're exaggerating it. So that's another thing I need to bear in mind when I'm learning language. So I, I am learning, but it's, it's small baby steps to get there. Ringing will teach me. Another thing I really loved about Turkey is the shops and the markets. There were markets everywhere, they were selling yeah. dried fruit, fresh fruit, coffee, tea, jewellery, carpets. Everything. Everything you can need. There's, in, there's a market for it. Yeah, so um, we basically went to the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul. Mm -hmm. It was on our trip on our layover from Bodrum and I wanted to show Jay the building, the historic, like it's just the area and the atmosphere is really lovely there so I wanted to take yeah. him there to show him. It was massive yeah. and I, I, it was amazed. We got lost a couple times. There was, it was packed out. Yeah. Um, we had to take a few coffee breaks just because I was walking so yeah, much. Yeah, we took a little um, Turkish coffee break and they give you a little Turkish delight as well next to the coffee. So it's a nice little sweet treat. Speaking of Turkish coffee though, um, outside the Grand Bazaar there was a horde of people. There was loads of people. Yeah. I didn't really know what was going on. So that's basically the Masur Chashi Sur. That's just a little bit further down from the Grand Bazaar. Um, and every year, without a doubt, me or my parents, we always go to Kavi Dunyasa to get fresh um, coffee. Um, so they ground up the coffee beans right then and they smell the aroma, it's so good, so you can get it by the grams. Um, and yeah, I just go and get loads and then come back. Another thing I really loved about Turkey is that the price difference compared to London is incredible. Uh. Well, um, yeah. Everything in London is ridiculously expensive, so going to Turkey and then things are a little low is very refreshing. So, for example, when we was in Bodrum, we went on to this like boat party kind of thing. So you set sail on the boat and you're pretty much out there the whole day, jumping off the boat. It was an incredible time. It's it, Jay's first time. It was my first time doing anything cool. like that. I've never jumped <laughs> off the boat before, so it's it, like, um, and that cost about ten pound for the entire day, mm. which is about forty lira or so. Yeah, forty. Um, if there was a London equivalent, that would cost about hundred pound plus. Like easily 500 yeah. lira, so it's just ridiculous. For the whole day, yeah, it'll just yeah. be ridiculously yeah. priced. So, so some things are much more convenient for us when we travel to Turkey. Yeah. So thanks, Turkey. <laughs> and last but not least, the people. The people in Turkey are some of the most kind and <laughs> humble people <laughs> that I've ever met. Um, I do love Turkish people. It like, goes from bringing his family to the strangers that we met in Turkey. They always made me feel welcome, even though I couldn't really speak their language. So uh, yeah, love you, Turkish guys. Mostly bring it though. <laughs> Obviously, I love showing Jay my Turkish culture, um, taking him around with me and my family, showing him Turkey when we went last year to Bodrum and to Istanbul. So, we've got loads of this more coming because Jay is once again joining me this year in Turkey. So, I'm really looking forward to that, showing him all my culture, showing him and enjoying just the nice sun weather out there. So, it'll be really nice. And I hope you enjoy it just as much as I do. Yeah. He enjoys the food more. <laughs> I do the food, the food a bit more, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Alright, anyway guys, um, make sure to like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, we're making videos a lot more regular now. Um, <laughs> every time. Wait. Hush, hush, hush. Hush, God, Denise. It's an aglunit. That was so genuine.